What's the story, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Wolves won, Liverpool three. A very greedy performance today, I have to say. Uh, it wasn't the best game to watch for purists if you're watch if you're watching it or even as a neutral. However, um, I thought it was a very greedy performance. If you go back to the start, the first half we were all over the place. Um, they got in there a very, very soft goal, I thought, from uh, He Chang, when Pedro Neto just cut through at least three of our players. Defensively, we were all over the place. And I think we grew into the game as towards the end of the first half when we had that chance from Gakbo, which was well saved by Jose Sarr, the Wolves goalkeeper. Um, McAllister looked off there. He looked way off it today. And I think maybe because he was playing in a high altitude country in Bolivia for Argentina during the international break didn't help. In my opinion, I don't think he shouldn't have started. You know, you saw when he was on the bench before the second half was, was kicked off. He looked absolutely exhausted, you know. So it's probably a game that I wouldn't have probably played him in, which is why if I don't if you if you go back and have a look at my start eleven video, he probably wasn't gonna start that game. And he shouldn't have started that game. So we got away with one there today, I felt. So, um, if I look back on the goals, um, Salah, a nice little intricate play with Jota, and plays puts on a play for Gakpo for a quick tap-in. He was quite quiet for most of the game, I thought. But um, when he got his chance, he, t he normally takes it. And as soon as he scored, he was taken off for Nunes. But then that's when the the game and the toy began to turn, really. I thought Diaz made a big difference when he came on. Um, looked very sharp, looked very lively. And was just every time he got the ball near the, near the left side, he was just trying to go. He, he was terrifying the Wolves fullback in uh, Semendo, I think what, I think his name is, yeah. So he had to, he had to be end up replaced by Matt Doherty towards the end, which kind of tells you the game he was having, you know. But then um, when the second goal happened, uh, obviously Salah puts on a play for Captain Robertson, who if I'm going to give the man of the match award to, it has to be Andy Robertson for me. Filled in as captain, one of the leaders of the group. But however, he made himself very, very strong today. Kept his cool head in and uh, put on a captain performance and got the winner as well. Now, I know it wasn't, well, it wasn't the winning goal, but the second goal which helped uh, get a big stronghold in the game. Uh, then with the third goal was by Andy Robertson. Oh, sorry, not Andy Robertson. Oh, I'm just, just messing up my lines there. It was down by Harvey Elliott, which people are saying it's not his goal. It was an own goal by Bruno, which if, if you kind of argue, if you see it, it's debatable whether it's an OG or whether Elliott gets it. But uh, I thought Elliott came on, we looked very lively in the midfield too. As well, and he's normally been a super sub the last five games we've played. Where, especially against Newcastle away from home, where when we were ten men, when we were ten men up on our ten men down, he came on in the central of the midfield and just was so so lively, so influential. And then, uh, obviously, you see what that goal means to him when he's running into the crowd. He's just trying to hook the fans as much as he can, which he was really really good. And he ends up getting booking for it, which I thought was stupid, you know. Um, I think what won us the game today was the tactical changes and obviously the, the personnel changes at the start of the second half, which we knew they were there for the taking anyway, you know. In, in regards to Wolves, I think the first half they were really good and it could have been a lot better for them and they could have scored three goals in that first half. Kieran misses an absolute sitter. If he puts that ball in his head full force, it's 2-0 and it's probably a completely different game. And more likely we don't even go in to go on to win that game. We probably at best we probably get a draw out of it. You know, but um I think obviously, you know, if you want to achieve a lot of wins and a lot of and if you want to achieve something in this season, you have to pull 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 results out of the bag like that, and I thought we did. I thought it was really, really good. Um very promising as well. Joel Quanta, big up to him. His fourth start in the Premier League away from home uh, was very solid, just done the basics right, which is what we need him to do, especially given his age and and also as well how highly thought of he is within the club. 
think he was he was born in Warrington, but he's been at the club since he was five. A lot of great reviews from the academies. For, sorry, from the academy director, and I think his name is Alex Inglethorpe, saying how highly rated he is. And yeah, I have to say he was really really good. I thought Matip was okay as well in spells. To Gomez, despite the goal, I thought was solid when he had to be, and I think. Once we conceded that goal, we got away with it in the first half, but not conceding more, and just made us more switched on. And then obviously Kanate, which is great to see him back for the last ten minutes, just shore it up and just just make it make it uh, very solid towards the end, you know. And Graven Birch obviously got gets on for his debut, which was only five minutes, but you know you, you might as well if, if there's opportunities there. Yeah, I'm sure Graven Birch might even get a start against Lask in the Europa League fixture, you know. Which is on Thursday. So yeah, um happy out, three points, thirteen game thirteen points out of fifteen. Uh, couldn't be any more happier as so far. Obviously now the next two games are excuse me, is uh Lask away in Austria in the in the Europa League on the Thursday night uh, I think it's a quarter to six our, our time. And we've got uh, West Ham at home at Anfield at 2 o'clock, I think, on, on the Sunday after. So, I reckon for this, for the Europa League game, I think he might make a few changes. He might bring Verge back in to give him more minutes. Um, I don't know whether it would be the wisest thing. I think maybe saving Verge for the for the West Ham game would be the wisest thing. Because that's a game, if, you, if, you're, looking, if you're judging the two games, of which is more important right now, you'd have to say the West Ham game at home is... Because I, as I'm recording this video, West Ham are one up against Man City. So it's it tells you how uh, how great of a start they've had under David Moyes as well. So so uh, yeah, happy out. I'll be doing a start eleven prediction show or for the or just a just a video for the start eleven on Wednesday for the la for the last game. So um, I'll keep you up to date if anything else happens within the club. So uh, in the meantime, in between time, have a good weekend, and uh, yeah, all good, all the best, up the reds, cheers.